Hi, everybody. My name is Ian Johnston. I'm a professor of international law at the Fletcher School, and I'm going to be teaching a course in peace operations next semester. Um, so this video is to give you a sense of what that course is going to be all about. Um, let, let me begin by giving you some reasons why I think it's a very interesting time to be studying peace operations. To begin with, if numbers are in any indication, there's been a great deal of enthusiasm for peace operations about since the year 2000, hasn't really leveled off. Um, but like many aspects of multilateralism this day and age, there's some serious reflection and questioning on the nature and value and functioning, the effectiveness of this enterprise. Um, secondly, peace operations have become more ambitious in recent years. They've become more militarily robust and the line between peacekeeping and war is starting to blur. And they become more intrusive into the domestic affairs of states, engaging in all sorts of activities that go to the very heart, the very core of governance. And third, the political geography of peace operations is changing. Um, more states and more organizations are getting involved. Um, it's not just the UN, but the African Union, NATO, the European Union, the OSCE, ECOWAS, various other sub-regional organizations, uh, and many different states and non-state actors are participating in this um, very complex and, to my mind, interesting enterprise. Um, so there's a lot going on. There's a lot to study. Um, what you can hope to learn from the course um, well, I think you're going to get some knowledge and some skills at three levels. Okay? At the most, at the narrowest, the most concrete level, um, you're going to learn a lot about particular peace operations in South Sudan or Democratic Republic of the Congo or Southern Lebanon or Afghanistan. We'll be looking at all of these. Um, you'll be looking at, we'll be thinking about what they're trying to accomplish, how they're trying to accomplish, how successful they've been in accomplishing their goals and why or why they have not been successful. Um, at, at the next level, the mid-level, you're learning about the enterprise of peace operations more generally, about peacekeeping, peace building, and peace enforcement as instruments of conflict management. And so you'll learn about the principles that underlie uh, the enterprise, the law, international law that relates to it, and the various techniques that are employed. Um, and then at the highest, most abstract level, to my mind, studying peace operations, is a way of understanding or, or, or lens through which we can understand broader issues in international politics, um, issues like the relevance of power and what kind of power matters in mandating and managing these operations, or questions around sovereignty uh, and the extent to which external interveners should be involved in promoting things like human rights or participatory governance or women's empowerment. Okay, so learning concrete issues, aspects of the techniques of peacekeeping, something about peacekeeping and peace operations generally, and broader issues around the way the world works, essentially. Okay. Uh, how is the course designed? Um, 26 sessions in total, twice per week. It'll be taught remotely at first, and then we'll shift to a hybrid format. Um, so the first 18 or 19 sessions will be on Zoom, uh, mixing lectures by me with structured discussion based on questions I'll distribute in advance. And then for the final seven or eight sessions, um, groups of students will do presentations on cases which will be chosen from a list that I provide. Uh, and for these sessions, I will be in the classroom in per person at Fletcher, uh, and anyone who wants to join me in the classroom um, can join me. Uh, but those who aren't in Medford obviously will have to participate via Zoom, uh, and, uh, but I think we'll have no trouble managing that. Okay? Um, evaluation uh, going to be based 40% uh, on an exam, which will take place about two thirds of the way through the course, 20% uh, on the case study presentations that I just mentioned, and 40% on a final paper of about 3,000 to 3,500 words. Okay, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I really enjoy teaching this course. I've been doing it for almost 20 years now. Uh, every year, um, there's something new to discuss, something interesting and important going on. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it, and um, I look forward to seeing many of you there next semester. Thanks.